And they're like, you have money? Like, I see right there. Like, just give them that. I'm like, I can't just use like a hundred bucks to buy this drink that's 300 yen. They're like, uh, why? Yeah, you can. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you can. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another... I didn't know about that about Japan. I'm so surprised. (laughs) Episode... We're the host. My name's MJ. My name is Adam. If you're enjoying all of the MJ and Adam show videos, definitely subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you want, if you're stoked on it already. And hey, you want to get contact even more and become a part of the MJ Adam fam, the Next Step community, you can do so by checking out becoming a member on our website. Description down below if anyone's interested. Check it out. It's really, really cool stuff where we can hang out and get to know each other and support everyone just a little better. Yeah. All right, everyone. We have a great episode for you today. We're going to be talking about things that surprised us in Japan. Me and Adam have been living here for over 10 years now, yes. and we've learned a lot. We've even lived in different places. Maybe Adam more, not me. Right now, we're in both in the Kanto area but yes. adam where'd you live before this uh before i lived in tokyo as well and i lived in osaka the contrast yes yes is real. <laughs> exactly exactly yeah. if you didn't know in, in adam's deep heart he's actually a kansai person uh but we're going to be talking about things that surprised us uh, we have a past episode where we talked about our first impressions mm-hmm. maybe like before we came to japan what we thought it was going to be like. Right, right. Now in this episode, in this video, we're going to talk about after like we've been here for a few months, uh, maybe the first week or something, and things that surprised us or shocked us about Japan. I'll talk about the first thing that I thought was very, very different, very interesting, was how you can get on the train all the time, every day, at the same time, just how punctual the transit system, the trains are, or just public transportation in general, that the whole thing, the whole system surprised me Mm -hmm. from the trains being on time to the convenience of having an IC card, that Suica or Passimo or or Ikoka, depending on where you are, how you could use this awesome card where you can charge it and then you just touch it and like it's so smooth now where i grew up is right next to new york city so i've used new york city transit subway systems plenty of times Mm -hmm. it seems so i mean it is old and maybe that's just why it's like they don't redo it where in japan they've had this new technology come in and everything's just amazing so Mm -hmm. that's definitely a huge thing after living in japan like getting around for within a week i'm like man Public transportation, amazing. (laughs) Big difference. For sure. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Adam? What's something that surprised you? When I first came to Japan, I had a Garake phone. And uh, I guess at the time, it was probably 2009, maybe. And before that, in Canada, a lot of the Japanese phones, you would see them, see people have them here and there. And they were just like out of this world amazing. Because the stuff that we had was not that great. But yeah. when I came to Japan, I got my first Garake. And the thing that surprised me about it was not just that it was a Garake, but the fact that it had functions where you can watch live TV on it. And okay. that was like a technological advancement for me to the yeah, point yeah, yeah. that I would take pictures and post it on my Facebook and my friends would just be like explosion. Like, what is that? <laughs> you get TV you get on your TV? phone. Does yeah. it drive a car too? Like they don't know about that one seg. One seg. <laughs> one seg is n- not a thing in, in uh, Canada for sure. Yeah. And yeah. just being able to watch TV on your phone uh, and the way that you can communicate with text messaging and stuff like that was non-existent just having that phone was something that was really surprising like wow i'm in yeah 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 there you go hand in hand technology that's definitely a big thing that surprises a lot of people yeah uh the next one i'll go with how you can pay for a pack of gum the smallest price yeah with ichimayan with a hundred dollar bill (laughs) 
<laughs> blew me away. Like I remember when like I was living in Japan and mm. I was, I don't know, I was like at a konbini trying to like get a, like a drink or or something really small. Yeah. And I was with a friend and I was, and I had asked them, I looked at my wallet, I only had Ichiman. <laughs> so I was like, oh man, uh, do you have like, I don't know, Gohyaku or something I could borrow? Yeah. Yeah. And they're like, you have money? Like I see right there, like just give just them that. that. I'm like, I can't just use like a hundred bucks to buy this drink that's 300 yen. They're like, uh, why? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah yeah you can and it's totally normal yeah. and that was one thing that i you know i take for granted now but mm -hmm. over in in america that is something you do not you can't do because we're always thinking you always got to watch your back you don't. Oh, you can't okay. trust someone at the beginning i see right yeah. so that kind of mentality is there where yeah. if someone's trying to pay for something that's cheap and they're using a big bill mm -hmm. maybe it's a fake bill Ah, so they're okay. gonna get a lot of change back yeah. that's real money from giving this fake uh bill out so a lot of places will say we can't do that because if this thing is fake right. at least you spent like whatever we a have like a, yeah the change that you got back mm. isn't a lot i see right see for for me it was i i didn't think of it in that way i was thinking oh. of it in the sense that cashiers would give me attitude yes. for using big bills. I remember specifically one time where yeah. all I had was a $20 bill in Canada and I just wanted a pack of gum or maybe it was a chocolate bar. It was a dollar. I put the thing something on the, small, the counter, yeah. something small, and I gave the cashier like $20 and they just held it and stared at me. And I just grabbed another thing staring at them and slammed it on the counter. And then they gave me the change. <laughs> but I didn't want the thing right. because I was just like, you know, like I want a chocolate bar. That's all I want. I don't want to buy yeah. other stuff just yeah. because you don't want to break the change. But on the other hand, they don't have a, a lot of change in their cash registers exactly. usually. Yeah. So if yeah. they have you to know keep why? breaking. Oh, yeah, because they get robbed sometimes. Exactly. And that's yeah. something people maybe don't think about in Japan. Right? like. Yeah all these like usually i don't know like gas stations mm. and stuff they don't want to carry a lot of money at the register right because robbery is is real, real and yeah. I, depending on where you are it right, can right. it can happen very often yeah so i think that's one big reason that's why true. you can't really ch change or use big bills right. for small items right, so right. be careful if you go overseas yeah because that's one thing I was surprised about in Japan, because yeah. it's totally fine here. Uh, going again with money and paying stuff, you can pay your bills at the convenience store or the post yes. office. That is unheard of in Canada. You pay your bills with a check or you yeah. have the, it directly withdrawn from your bank account, but never going to a place like a post office or a convenience store for that matter right, right, right. to pay yeah. bills. Bills are exactly. paid at the company and that's it. There you go. The convenience of, of being able to pay stuff. That's a yeah. good one, dude. Yeah. We'll talk about, again, money. Yes. I was very surprised that there is a tray to Ooh. put money in yes. when you're paying for something or when you're receiving your change back. Mm. Very, very surprised. Yes. And I got used to it pretty quickly. And, and I don't know why I thought it was kind of cool mm. or, or I don't know what, but I, I kind of had like a positive look on it. Right. Where it's like, instead of passing it directly to the person, like you don't have to wait for them to be ready. Right. Like there's a tray. If you have your money ready, you can just drop it in and it's all set. That's and this is something that I have to remind my friends when they come to Japan and like they're buying something and then they're just like holding the money out. Like, okay, like, like kind of like take it. I'm like, put it on the tray, put it on the tray. There's the, <laughs> and then, they, then after that, they're always like, where's the tray? Where's the tray? When you get to the register. <laughs> And you think about like, oh, if you go to a, a, a register and at the counter, it's usually a kind of a bright color. Right, right. Because right. so it's easy for the customer to see. So it's yeah. really, really an interesting thing where you don't see here. And if you think about it, it's like maybe a better thing, especially now with the pandemic and mm. COVID. So yeah. you don't have to touch stuff. That's but then true. again, maybe that tray is really dirty. So then you're like, uh, I don't know right now. But <laughs> that is something that I was surprised about. Right. Money in the tray. Again, with money, it's like all money right now. <laughs> but this one is kind of not positive. Once again, we're talking about like exchanging bills and 
coins and stuff like that, which is fine. But I, I realized after, you know, having my knee surgery and being out of luck with no cash in my pocket, that Japan yeah. is still a very heavily cash based society. Um, oh, okay, okay. So even though I have a credit card and I have like my bank cards, I would have to apply for a debit card or something like that to be able to use it. And even then, many of the shops don't accept debit cards. Um, they oh, do really? have, yeah. Well, I mean, it's changing slowly uh, with the new yeah. payment systems, but it yeah, didn't yeah. exist at all. So there were a lot of times where I felt like, why do I have to carry Ichimanen every day? That's like, wow, that's like my kryptonite, because anytime I have money in my wallet, I end up buying small things like little candies and stuff. And I feel like the money disappears quickly. I've seen, oh, okay, okay. you know, salary men and they open their wallets and there's at least like Juman inside Yoman or something. Ooh. Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes, yeah, yeah. Yoman, Goman, Juman, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, people have to that's carry true, around true. so much money. And on the flip side, luckily, it's kind of a safe place that where if you lose your wallet or something, you're probably going to get it back, except for me. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, or you don't get jumped. Or you get, you don't <laughs> yeah. get jumped or attacked or robbed. But um, right, yeah, right. It, it, I feel like people carry a lot of cash on them. Mm, yes, yes. At all times here. Whereas Definitely. in Canada, using cash is almost forbidden now because... Everybody uses their debit card and it's just yeah, a lot yeah, easier. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I used it too. And actually, I, I remember I learned that there was a debit card uh, that I could get at my bank here in Japan. And yeah. I believe it was more than six years ago, dude. So I don't know what happened with your okay. bank. <laughs> Maybe more. But yeah. once I found that, yeah, I was using it all the time. Right. But yeah, definitely. Even if people are not going out to spend money, like yeah. don't have any plans to go shopping yeah. here in Japan, a lot of people have a good amount of money on yeah. them. I'm like, yeah. whoa. Or sometimes you'll see people like going through the trains and their Suica, you can see how much they have on there. And it's like, Nimon? You have Nimon? Where are you going? <laughs> Just today, are you going to get on right? the Shinkansen or what? Like... <laughs> Very, very interesting yeah. to have, you know, it, maybe it's got to be a cultural thing where it's like you feel like you got to have cash, cash on you to be safe for right. some reason. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Over to me for the last one. Last thing that I was very surprised about. Again, I live very close to New York City back yeah. home. Yeah. And I was very surprised when I was at a intersection of a street waiting for this, the light to change mm -hmm. uh, and nobody was crossing the street, even though there were no cars in sight. Maybe it's like 1 a.m. Uh, example, 1 a.m. Yeah. No cars anywhere. You can totally walk and cross this street. No problem. It's not dangerous at all. But there'll be a lot of people, almost everybody who will follow the rules in Japan mm. and not cross the street and wait till the, the light turns green but then adam you you kind of said that it's not actually everybody you yeah. feel maybe it's just specific areas i feel like it's a lot of kanto that does the waiting at the lights because when i was in yeah. osaka i think somebody even mentioned like yeah in osaka we just go <laughs> <laughs> yeah as long as it's quote-unquote safe the lights don't really matter so right and I've seen it like people just yeah. running across the street because you got to right, get where, across the street. But still, yeah, that is something that I was very surprised mm -hmm. and I didn't see people do it. And uh, like I'm again from New York mm -hmm. area. Yeah. People just go. Oh, okay. and like they'll even give the drivers like kind of dirty looks <laughs> if they like almost hit them. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Are you do? Yeah, um, it's a very different feeling. And when I came to Japan, I was still in that mindset. So if i came to a crosswalk i would totally go i, I just check yeah no one i'm going I'm gone. i don't raise my hand or anything right. i just go because <laughs> hey what am i gonna wait here for right because my life is gonna end i don't know when so <laughs> i want to go right. speed up the process <gasps> a little bit <laughs> let's go yeah but yeah, yeah. The but thing now I, I follow the rules. All right, everyone. That's it for this video. Hopefully yeah. you enjoyed it. Those are a few of the points that me and Adam thought were different, were surprised, yeah. shocked about after living in Japan for a while. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought, uh, especially if you're from Kansai area, if you're from Osaka, yeah. do you cross the street 
<laughs> even if it's red or who's who said what explain that to us yes. <laughs> and let us know down below uh, if you enjoyed it again like the video yep. subscribe to the channel if you want more videos from us uh, check out our website where you can sign up for one-on-one -on -one online lessons mm -hmm. vid chats with me uh, you can become a part of the next step community yep. where you can get downloads of our videos and audio files so you can have us in your ears or on your screens, wherever, whenever. It's a really cool thing. And be a part of the community over on Facebook. So it's just it's just great. Definitely check it out if you're interested. Yeah, and we also got TikTok and Twitter and Instagram. So you can head on over to those channels and send us a message or uh, give us a like if you would like to. Yeah, that's it, everyone. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next step. step.